Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today we have something interesting to discuss in the world of jailbreaking. For those of you who don't know, Hacker I Hate Snow has demoed a successful iOS 10 jailbreak on an iPhone 5. Now initially, I wasn't going to create this video, I didn't want to confuse people, however, so many of you have sent it to me, so I decided to give my analysis on the situation and kind of explain what's going on here. So I Hate Snow is a famed hacker, for those of you who don't know, he's definitely contributed to the jailbreak community in the past, he's an absolutely awesome awesome guy, and everything he does related to jailbreaking is rather epic. So what he did is this, he posted pretty much a stealth video, no title, no description, nothing to it, just a straight upload of an iPhone 5 jailbroken. And of course we do know it's an iPhone 5 because up in the top we see that N41 tag and that corresponds to Apple's iPhone 5. Of course it also lacks the Telltale Touch ID home button, so of course iPhone 5, a 32-bit device. Now that's absolutely key. And before we get any further, I want to stress that you should not get your hopes up. This actually isn't anything new and it won't be released. I Hate Snow has maintained a private iBoot-based jailbreak for some time and we've seen it demonstrated in the past. Check down below in the description. I will have a link to a post on my site that has these other two videos also talking about the exact same jailbreak demonstrated on both iOS 9 as well as 8.1.1. I Hate Snow has maintained this iBoot exploit since the days of iOS 7. He's kept it a secret, and let me kind of explain what's happening in the video, and then we'll kind of loop back to this. So essentially what's going on is he's proving that it is an iPhone on iOS 10. Cydia is then opened. Once it loads up, he scrolls down to the bottom to once again confirm that Cydia states it is on iOS 10, and he kind of just scrolls around through it, goes to the installed tab, shows the packages that he has installed, and then moves on. From there, he's showing that he has access that's only available to jailbroken devices and confirming that it is the correct kernel version and everything through this one application. And next, we have the stage where he reboots it. From there, we see a custom boot logo at the beginning of the reboot that's very hard to achieve and only occurs when you have a very low level exploit like he does, his iBoot exploit. It then reboots using verbose boot and for those of you who are around for the days of red snow, you'll definitely be familiar with it. And then of course, it just comes back up into iOS 10, proving that it is in fact an untethered jailbreak. Then after entering his passcode, he launches up Cydia, doesn't let it to fully load, shows that he has Control Center, the iOS 10 version, launches up settings to show his local IP address. He then switches views to terminal on his Mac, SSHing into the same IP of the iPhone 5, does the uname A command to confirm that the kernel version is correct for iOS 10, and again, the model identifier iPhone 5 comma one confirms it is an iPhone 5 and then finally he runs a kill all springboard command which essentially just respring's the device and that wraps it up for the most part that's his jailbreak demonstration in its entirety now remember it is on an iPhone 5 an older 32-bit device we've seen this before demonstrated on iOS 9 and iOS 8 and it will not function on 64-bit devices now the reason for this is because of the low-level nature of I Hate Snow's iBoot exploit, it will persist through firmware updates on 32-bit devices since the exploit only exists on older devices because the archive containing boot files has only been decrypted for said non-64-bit devices. And this is kind of like GeoHot's LimeRain exploit in the sense that it gets applied in the boot sequence. However, instead of happening at a hardware level, being the boot ROM, which was what LimeRain was, a boot ROM exploit that Apple could not patch unless they issued new hardware, this happens in iBoot. So if it were to be released, Apple could patch it and they'd probably do so very quickly. This is why he has yet to release it and why he will never release it. He wants to keep it private. Moreover, it will only work on certain devices being 32-bit devices, and guess what? The last 32-bit iPhone to be supported in iOS 10 is just the iPhone 5, so this jailbreak would pretty much be obsolete and hardly anyone would be able to utilize it if it were to be released. 
And on Twitter, he even confirms that it's not that big of a deal. A few days ago, before actually releasing this video, in reply to someone, he said 32-bit really isn't anything special, and then 64 is where it's at. So 64-bit devices, everything from the iPhone 5S and up. Now, another tweet reveals what's really important and why this really matters, because he can continue to test things like this. He said, well, Cydia doesn't crash on iOS 10. Hooray, no hacky fixes needed for now. So that's great news. That means once iOS 10 receives an official jailbreak, which of course won't happen until after the expected iOS 9.3.x jailbreak and iOS 10's release, there will be minimal work required from Soric, the creator of Cydia, to actually get everything functioning on iOS 10. And it seems as though Cydia already works on iOS 10 without any hacky fixes for now. That could change based on a number of different factors, especially if Apple decides to update things inside of iOS 10 further, but that's really the main takeaway from this video and from what I Hate Snow has been testing. City of functions, a jailbreak is possible, and things are looking great. For those of you who don't know and for those of you who haven't been keeping up in the realm of jailbreaking, some really awesome things have been going on recently, and down below in the description there will be a link to my playlist. You can watch through some of the latest updates there. If you want to be notified even more frequently, such as when I release new videos covering various things, including jailbreaking, just click the subscribe button below next to my channel name, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.